The Gospel of John contains only seven miracles which Jesus worked. And in the Gospel, John the Evangelist refers to them as signs and Jesus refers to his miracles as his works. The miracles are never seen as separate from Jesus. They are seen as part of his ministry. They are seen as part of his making whole. Because in Jesus, there was no dichotomy. There was no separation between his word and his action. Whether he spoke or whether he did, it was always an efficacious word. It was always a miracle. It was always an enhancing word. In the gospel text of today, which is taken from John chapter 4, verses 43 to 54, we will read the second of the seven miracles in the Gospel of John and it is the healing of the son of an official of the synagogue. The official comes to Jesus and asks that his son who is lying at home be healed. Jesus responds by telling them that they must not seek for signs like this. They must not seek for wondrous events. They must seek for God even in the illness, even in the sickness, because God is present even there. And yet, he asks the man to have faith. And what is the faith that the man is called to? The faith the man is called to is to believe that whatever happens, happens for his own good and for the good of his son who is sick. And the man believes. The man understands that faith means to believe before he can see, before he can experience. With the larger majority of us who are rational beings, we always seek for a rational explanation, for a reasonable explanation, and we want to see, and only then we will believe. In the gospel text of today, we are given an example by this official who comes to Jesus and goes home on the word of Jesus, because he knows in his heart that the word of Jesus is also an action. And he goes home and finds that his son is healed, his son is made whole. The promise which Jesus made him has come true. And one reason why the promise came true is because of the man's faith. Surely because of Jesus' miraculous powers, but Jesus never regarded his miraculous powers as extraordinary. He regarded it as part of his personality as part of his ministry. Today, so many of us are still looking for the Lord to work miraculously in our lives, not doing what we have to do, leaving things undone. And we turn to the Lord and we say, Lord, where are the miracles at the time when Jesus was present? He worked so many miracles. Why are there no miracles now? And the Lord is saying to us, if you open your heart, if you open your mind, if you open your eyes and look intently with all of these parts of your being, there is no doubt that you will see that miracles are taking place Everywhere and every time. When a child is born, when a bird sings, when people reach out in selflessness and in love, when you are able to speak an enhancing word or perform an enhancing and loving action, then miracles take place again and again and again. And the world becomes a miraculous place. Will you 
perform one miracle today by speaking a kind word, by reaching out through a loving action. 